Hey, my name is Cedric, and in this video, I will be showing you how to install the basic Facebook Pixel on your website. So with this setup, you'll be able to track only page views, so you won't be able to track any things like uh, conversions or a specific click event. That's something that I can cover uh, in a future video because it's a little bit more advanced. Um, but this is really more for anyone just getting started with Facebook uh, ads and they want to install the Facebook Pixel on their website or it's just to simply add the Pixel on your website potentially because later on you want to do some Facebook ads. So you're going to need a few different things. Um, the first one is a Facebook ad account, which I have here. The second one is Google Tag Manager. And I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and connect your Facebook Pixel, or sorry, put your Facebook Pixel on Google Tag Manager. And then Google Tag Manager is what we're going to be putting on the website. So just to talk a little bit more about Google Tag Manager, a lot of different advertisers um, and gurus out there just say to install the Facebook Pixel on your website, which is true, it, it, it will work, um, but it's always best practice to use something like a, a tag management system, and that's what Google Tag Manager is. It's a centralized place to keep all your different uh, tracking pixels. The reason you want to do that is because for now, um, I mean, it's fine, right? You can just install the Facebook Pixel on your website. But as you go and you want to track different things or more things, you're going to need to be able to uh, have, you know, tr tags or codes uh, firing off based off specific events and a lot of other different things. And for that, you need a tag management system. And it also not just that is imagine if you have the Facebook pixel, the LinkedIn insight tag, the Twitter, uh, the Twitter pixel, uh, Google ads conversion tracking. All right, all these different things would have to be also installed on your website. It's just a lot of code added to your website when you can just use Google Tag Manager. You put the, the code in Google Tag Manager and all you have to do is install Google Tag Manager once on your website. So that is the main reason why I'm a big advocate of Google Tag Manager. Now, in this video, I'm going to assume that you're using something like WordPress. If you're using Shopify or a page cloud or any other CMS system out there, it's all pretty similar. Um, basically, you're just gonna have to find the place where you can insert a code on the website. And for, if you're using something like Shopify, it should be where it's the online business section on the left sidebar, and then it's probably in your general settings. Uh, it's honestly pretty easy to find, uh, but again, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to install it on WordPress. So here is our uh, WordPress website. It's a brand new one. I've created this one just for this demo. What you're gonna need is a plugin. So the plugin we are looking for is called Google Tag Manager. And here we go. Now, once we have the plugin installed, um, there's a few different ways of setting it up. They actually recommend, uh, the plugin recommend that you install it in your theme. Um, so that's actually what we're gonna do. And so that means we're gonna need to click on custom, saying that it needs to wait a tweak in your template. Um, and what you need to do uh, before we even save this is go to your Google Tag Manager. So if you don't have Google Tag Manager, again, just go to tagmanager.google.com. It's really easy to create your account. It's totally free. Once you have it, uh, this is the code you're actually looking for. So you can either copy it or click on it and it's gonna be in the code right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this. Right in here. So perfect, and then we're gonna click Save Changes. Awesome, it is saved. Now we just need to copy this code right here. And we're gonna do exactly what they say, all right? So place into the head section of your web page where it belongs, um, and then you put it right under the body tag. So the first body tag. So we're gonna go on appearance, theme editor, and then you're gonna look at the right sidebar here. Because this is a brand new website, there's not a lot of information here. On your website, you're probably gonna have a bigger, I guess, sidebar than I do. If ever you can't find the theme header, which is right here, you can always do Control F uh, if you're on a window, if you're a Windows user, and then you can just look for what we're looking for, right? Theme header, which is right here. Perfect. This is it here. It's if, if it's your first time in here, it might say something like, oh, be careful. Um, right? If you do anything you're not supposed to, you might. Uh, 
you know, make some changes to your website. Um, just say, okay, or I understand, that's totally fine. We're not gonna be doing anything crazy in here. So what I'm looking for is for the body tag, right? Right in the head section. So I see it right here, that's the body tag. So I'm just gonna click on here, I'm gonna click space and control V the code. And I'm gonna click on update file. Perfect, the file has been updated. So now Google Tag Manager is installed on our website. So now what we need to do is we need to install the Facebook Pixel on our website. Well, in order to do so, I'm gonna go here and navigate to tags, okay? And I'm gonna create a new tag. And I'm, I always like to call my tags um, something that is related to what we're doing. So since this is Facebook, I'm gonna call this SV. And then basic tracking, we can say it's gonna fire on all pages. Now under tag configuration, you're just gonna click it. Here, you're gonna go under where it says custom HTML. Perfect, now that's where we're gonna add the code. Don't worry, you, need, you don't need to come up with the code. I actually already have the code for you. It's right here, one second, and here we go. So that is the code. Don't worry, you don't need to actually type that. If you uh, look in the description, um, there's actually a link to the article that I wrote about how to install uh, the Facebook Pixel on your website. And there's a code that you can directly copy in the article. So go ahead and do that. Um, once you have, once you have uh, the code here on your website, um, sorry, on Google Tag Manager, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to add the Facebook Pixel here. So how do you get your Facebook Pixel code? Go into your Ads Manager. You're gonna click here, Events Manager. Perfect, and again, um, one thing you wanna make sure is that you're in the right account. So here on the right side, uh, there's gonna be the name of the account you're in. Um, this is mine. Where can you see your Facebook Pixel uh, ID? Sorry, it's not just the Facebook Pixel, it's a Facebook Pixel ID. Um, that is not it. I believe that's the account ID. What we need is the code right here. That's a Facebook Pixel. And if you click on it, it's gonna copy it. Um, also, you can always find it in the URL right here where it says Pixel, but it should be there, so just copy it. And we're gonna place this right here. Perfect. Now we're gonna click on Advanced Settings. And we're gonna add a priority of 100. And the reason why we wanna add a, t a priority of 100 is because we're gonna set up another page, or no, sorry, another tag uh, that we want to fire, we want the other tag to fire before this one. Um, so if we set it to 100, and the other one we won't set a priority, the, the other one will fire before this one, right, if that makes sense. Triggering. Well, we want your Facebook pixel to trigger on all pages. So under triggering, you're gonna simply click on all page and you're gonna click save. Perfect, so we got one installed. We're gonna add a new one. And we're gonna call this one page view. And we can say again, it's on all pages. Again, for this one, we're gonna do custom HTML, and we're gonna add the other code here that again, you can find in the article. Perfect, and for this one, because by default, this actually is zero, you don't need to add anything. Um, so it's like adding zero, so you don't need to add anything, uh, and this one's gonna fire before the other one. Again, we'd want this to fire on all pages and save. So here we go, we have installed the Facebook Pixel. Now, before we do anything else, let's not forget to submit. Um, and I always like to name whatever changes I'm doing. So we're gonna say here, installed Facebook Pixel. Here you go. So here you have it, the Facebook Pixel is installed on the website. If you have any questions or having any issues or you know you have a specific question on how to install it on a different CMS system like Shopify or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do another video um, about you know how to add it on another specific CMS system. Uh, but yeah, honestly, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content, uh, please do like and subscribe. Thank you, take care now.